Okay, I'm not going to spend much time on this video. I just want to comment on these brothers now. I spoke on the Hebrew Israelites in the past on my old channel, Fearless 2005, before I deleted it. But last night I was watching a video, came across this video, and it looked like the video had been made a while ago. And it was these brothers here that was in front of Tony Evans' church, what it looked like in front of his church. And Tony Evans came out and they were talking about Easter. I guess Tony Evans was having Easter services. And of course, you had the, the, the so-called Hebrew Israelites out there, you know, attacking the church as usual. Now, I used to watch Nathaniel. I used to like Nathaniel. I still like the brother's teaching. He's got good teachings. But the biggest turnoff is they have Christian derangement syndrome. They cannot teach their message without jumping on the backs of Christians. See, and the only people they really attract are people that are anti-Christ, that's anti-church and anti-Christianity. Those are the people that they usually gather. But anyway, they were coming at Tony Evans and he came out and he accepted their, their challenge and was telling them, that he don't believe in um, the the Easter tradition, so to speak. You know all the idolatry that goes along with that. And those Israelite brothers had nothing to say. They got quiet, and they didn't think to start talking about him until after he left. After Tony Evans left, after it was over, then they had a lot to say about this dude. Right now. I came across another video and it was published about a year ago and it was with Nathaniel. And the title of the video was Black Christians, Deaf, Dumb, and Blind. Again, Christian derangement syndrome. They cannot teach their message without Christians. They need Christians. And if you look at their whole gimmick is fashioned around Christianity and the black church. The only difference is they're wearing the costumes. Now the Bible tells you to be aware of, uh, of, of wolves in sheep clothing. You know, they have the garments on, but inside they're raving and wolves. Look at the message that they teach. They have good information but they mix that information with error and they mix that information with hostility and attacking people, mainly preachers and mainly Christians. That's not how you're going to win them over. Now you may win a few over, those that are not strong. Of course, you're the wolf in sheep clothing. You're the only ones that wear sheep clothing on the street claiming to be Hebrew Israelites, right? But you can't teach your message without Christians. Christians don't need you, but you need them. See, you're trying to be like Christians, right? Even naming yourself uh, Israel United in Christ. They call um, their assembly a church. They call themselves a church, right? So, you're Israel united in Christ, but you have a church. And your whole doctrine is built on the backs of Christians. See, you can't preach or teach your message without mentioning Christians, whereas pastors. Now, pastors on Sunday morning, they don't mention you. They mention nothing about any other religion. They don't have to. The only thing they do is teach and preach the Bible according to what they know, all right? They may not teach on a lot of things that you may teach on when it comes to uh, nationality and race, but much of what they teach, you don't teach. See, you don't teach salvation. And if you mention salvation, you're talking about the church and come out of the church and these preachers and these Christians and they're dumb and they're stupid. And then you'll play 
people like Tony Evans. Now you kept saying Tony Robbins, but it's Tony Evans. You can't you play Tony Evans. You play um what's that record that gospel recording artist? Um ah just watching the video. It's on that video. You had Kirk Franklin. You had Kirk Franklin when he was talking to some white dudes, right? And you're talking about how dumb they are, right? Instead of you trying to win souls, dying souls, you're too busy focused on what the Christians are doing or what the preachers are doing. You don't talk about the white preachers. You don't talk about the Catholic priest. You target black churches and talk about how they're dumb and they don't know who they are. Well, maybe you don't know who you are and you're still searching. And that's why you can't stop talking about pastors. You can't stop talking about Christians and you make white people cry because that makes you feel empowered. Now, I know you guys are different than the other so-called Hebrew Israelites that make white people kiss their feet. You know, they do that. It's a power. It's a power trip. See, so you wearing the purple robes, you're talking about uh, Israel united in Christ. And you have the nice graphics. The graphics are real nice on your flyers. Real nice graphics. But that's not going to save you. Your message is not going to save anyone. They may join your organization and you may pimp them for some money, right? But when it comes to salvation, you don't preach salvation. You preach nationality and you rail at the church. In my own humble opinion, you are the Antichrist. Now, Yeshua says, many in that day will come in my name, saying I am Christ, and will deceive many. The Hebrew Israelites are deceiving many. You're mixing truth with falsehood. You're mixing truth with hatred and animosity. If your message has power behind it, you don't need to mention preachers. You don't need to tell people to come out to church. See, a lot of the pe people that come into the church that change their lives and give their life to Christ, these are people that are in gangs, drug dealing, um, gang bangers, prostitutes, doing anything you can name under the sun. And something happens in their life where you hear, they hear the preacher. The Bible says, how can you hear without a preacher? And how can he preach except he be sent? You guys are not sent because your message has no power. The only people you are gathering are those that hate Christians, that those that love to talk about Christians. And your followers do the same thing. These young boys be on the corner and I give a shout out to these young men because there's other things they can be doing. It's a good thing. But at the same time, it's like you attacking people on the street, strangers walking by. And then when people react, now you want to call it the devil. Well, maybe you are the devil because you're the one that's provoking them to evil. You're the one that's provoking them to wrath. And then you're going to call it the devil. See? So your spirit is not right. And like I said, I used to listen to Brother Nathaniel. Um, I used to talk to the brother in New York at one time. And, you know, he's a cool dude, man. I like what they were teaching. But the turnoff message is when you're always having to bash another religion to promote your own. You don't talk about Buddhism. You don't talk about Islam because there's a lot of black Americans that's into Islam. But you don't talk about Islam too often, maybe every now and again. Your main target is the church. 
and you will go and stand in front of a church and rail at them. You're the devil. You're the devil that the Bible talks about. Isn't that what you tell people? You're the devil that the Bible talks about. You're the antichrist. You're the wolf in sheep clothing. And you have Christian derangement syndrome. You can't teach or preach your message without talking about the church, without talking about the Bible. I mean, better yet, Christianity or preachers. See, you're attacking the church. You're the scoffers that the Bible talks about. Always scoffing at the church and at preachers. See, check yourself because a lot of y'all are leaving here. During COVID, there was some so-called Hebrew Israelites, wasn't a part of your camp, but the brother died. I knew him from New York, right? But he died, right? But he had a lot of stuff that was going on in his personal life. See, people see you on the street preaching and teaching people and, and ragging Christians, but they don't see your personal life. They don't see what you do behind closed doors. See, what does your children think of you if you have children? So let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and give glory to the most high, which is in heaven. The most high is not receiving glory from you bashing Christians, from you bashing preachers, or from you bashing the church. See, that's not your job. If, if, if God called you, if you felt he anointed you, which I don't believe he did, because if he did, your message would be different. And you don't need to tear somebody down to build yourself up. You're the devil that the Bible talks about. So that's all I got to say with that, bro. But it's a big turnoff, man. You have good information, but your information is reaching deaf ears because of the deliverance of your message. I don't recall any of the apostles or disciples or prophets in the Bible that preach like that. 